Here we have them, the Lacoste AGLT23 Medvedev shoe. You can even see his uh, name here on the tongue. Hey, fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. This is the review of the Lacoste AGLT23 hardcourt version. Overall, an excellent shoe. I will get into why in this shoe review. It has been reviewed very highly on Tennis Warehouse as well. Obviously, a shoe is a very personal thing few things about me, I have a kind of semi-narrow foot and a knee that is bothering me from time to time when playing too much on hard courts. For me personally, dampening is very, very important. I judge all shoes objectively though, based on the player it might not suit or suit and so on. This is not a slider shoe, I would say, on hard courts. If you slide heavily on hard courts, I think the outsole on this shoe will offer too much grip. Probably too much for hardcourt sliders, but I'm not a slider on hardcourts, as you might have seen. A few reminders of the different parts of a shoe. You can see here the different components. A lot of shoe reviews talk about these different things. The midsole, the mudguard, the rubber outsole, toe tip, whatever. So you have a bit of an idea of what is what. Starting with the purely visual stuff, this shoe is a very stylish shoe. It's not a shocker since it's from Lacoste. But I do like the look of it. I think they took some inspiration maybe from like older Adidas barricades, then made it their own. When I step into the shoe, it's easy, feels comfortable straight from the get-go, had no break-in personally. I could walk in them outside the tennis court and get to the court with these shoes. One of the things I noticed immediately with the shoe is the heel part, the very thick outsole, kind of like Adidas Ultra Boost style. It's quite thick and noticeable. And the separation of this part of the shoe and the front part of the foot is a bit strange and does take some getting used to. There is a lot of springiness happening in the heel. Some people like that. They like a little bounce and cushioning. I usually do that too. But I felt like this could be maybe slightly more balanced in that respect. Just a personal note. I haven't seen that with other reviewers of this shoe. One of the best things about this shoe is the stability of the shoe. So if you're worried about rolling an ankle or something like that, this is a very stable shoe which is kind of also barricade style, but it still feels lighter that you can move really fast in the shoe. So they found that beautiful balance of stability, support and speed. So I think that's quite rare in the marketplace. If we look at the specifications, kind of what is in the shoe, in the upper, there's a lightweight Leno Weave TPA U mesh. This one is supposed to give you support durability and a comfortable fit. I must say the comfort is great, uh, just straight from the bats. They have the super responsive foam in the midsole, made from lightweight PBAX ETPU. So it provides comfort and energy return, and that bounciness is in the shoe. You really feel it, it's quite pronounced. You might like it, you might not. Sometimes I feel it's a little bit weird, but other times I also feel very, very comfortable, and it's great to just walk around in the shoe. The outsole is quite grippy, so not for your hardcore sliders. In my opinion, it's a modified herringbone pattern with line grip rubber compound. It says it's for multi-directional traction and durability, so the traction, the grip, really good the fit it's slightly short so i would recommend you to order a half size up i did that it worked great the width and the arch they're about medium didn't notice much of a break in and the weight of the shoe in a us size 10.5 is 421 gram which is a little bit on the heavier side but they don't feel heavy when playing in them so on the court, I could immediately see why this got so many great reviews. Speed and stability combined for the weight range is excellent. I feel pretty fast and at the same time protected in them. So I'm not worried about like rolling ankles, as I said, or something else. They feel like rock solid. So that part is great. Comfort, support, stability, all top notch. Maybe not on terms of my current favorite hardcore shoe, which is the Bowlat Pro Pulse Fury 3 when it comes to the dampening and the cushioning I need for my knees. I feel almost nothing when I play on hard courts in the bubbler shoe. Here I didn't feel much either, but a little bit of stiffness at times. Maybe because that heel part is so protruded and it feels a little bit strange on my foot. I haven't seen that in other reviews, to be honest. It's just something that I noticed after testing loads and loads of shoes. This stands out a bit. But overall, I mean, this is a, a premium shoe, a very good one. They do make a sound, so I they're quite noisy, I would say the screech screech while moving. Maybe it's my movement that is very bad, uh, which it is, but it, they do squeak more than other shoes I've tested recently. Uh, could be the, the rubber that they've used, of course. Overall, great, excellent, very enjoyable play test. I think players who uh, like a, a supportive shoe 
that has a bit of a speedier feel than what you might be used to will love this shoe. It's a lot to love about it. Uh, I really like it too. It's not my favorite shoe of all time, but it, it's one there that, that will stay with me and will join me in the bag from time to time. And it also looks great. That's it for this review. I hope you got some good information from it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments field. I read through them. I can't answer it to everything because I get a lot of questions on, on all my different medias every day. So it's, it's a bit tough for one guy, but I'll do my best to read through. And if I see something important, I, I will reply to that. That's all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play sometimes.